It's easier to find inspiration somewhere. Or even just like bring bring in something historical. Not historical, but you know what I mean. It's not, obviously, it's not historical. It's I think, I think that's why maybe they they use those designs in so many games, or like they base designs off of those kind of characters. I mean, it must have been a a choice, like a like a. They could have named it like whatever. Like they could have just came up with the name, but there's a purpose. The reason why they called it Ifrit, like the name of the enemy. Like they didn't hide the fact that they were inspired by that. They could have very easily just called it like whatever, you know. But it's very intentional, that like decision to like not change the name. To like ref reference it within the game. Does that make sense? It's fitting, Dracula the Lord of Evil has all these has all the monsters of legends in his army. Yeah, it does fit, right? I mean, we have from anywhere from Frankenstein to mummies to like all even like the werewolves and stuff. But that's just like the I feel like that's there's like all sorts of stuff. It makes a lot of sense. This area is huge. Baby Yaga with her moving house on chicken legs. I'm trying to think of like other enemies that are in this game that like have those kind of historical or mythological influence. I mean, obviously zombies. I wonder what is the first instance or reference to like a dead thing coming back to life. I guess Jesus. <laughs> Probably before Jesus, right? Like something that died being resurrected. Like what's the first mythology with 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 that? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure like the Egyptians had something similar to like because technically, yeah, I mean, if you think about it, Jesus is a zombie. I mean, technically, where we're thinking of something dead coming back to life. People have been afraid of the undead since, like, Sumeranian times. Yeah, it's so interesting. And how it's still, in it still interests us. I think it's, like, that connection with, like, the... Our fear of death. Like, I think humans, like, we have this innate fear of death, like, not knowing. So I think the, the, the reason why, like, zombies, like, that kind of subculture is so popular is, like, maybe because of that. It, like, really connect, connects with, like, the human experience of, like, wanting to stay alive. So like returning from the dead is like like this like crazy interesting thing to us. But I'm sure returning from the dead is something very every culture has like explaining night and day. Yeah. Fear of death is something huge along every race and how to explain it. I think the fear of death is like a pretty much a huge reason why like religion exists I think to control is one reason and then another reason is like to to like rationalize the, your your fears and to like channel them channel them into like something else
I actually know this one. Look up. Look up Scad Gamut. I probably messed up that pronunciation really bad. They're supposed to be witches that rise from the dead to hunt the living. It's an un it's an undead from a Native American folklore. That sounds so cool. Yeah, I'll check that out. It's so fascinating that like all these cultures independently come up with like the same thing like you know they're not like talking to each other exchanging ideas independently all these different cultures that were isolated around the world have the same kind of thoughts and same kind of like processes that's so interesting we gotta watch out for our health here we have to summon... Samus. For heals? We need heals. Because we're getting dangerously low. I wish Samus had more... hearts. guys are crazy. These are these rippers? What are these guys called? They're like the like flea men, but death rippers. They're nuts. In, in Japan, it's like yokai, right? In Japan, it's like the idea that yokai are like spirits. Japanese Japanese folklore is so interesting. Yeah, Japanese Japan has some awesome ghosts. If, if you watch like there's a lot of uh, manga and anime that's based off of like those kind of yokai, yokai designs and like a lot of Ghibli stuff. Obviously Ghibli like Spirited Away obviously has a lot of like influence from those historical folklore Japanese folklore. I I like the kappa which I've talked about on stream before. It's the the, the, the river monster that uh, climbs up your butthole. Yeah, there's an anime based on like the like a, a boy that can see all all these different yokai. What is that called? We I watched some of that. What is that anime called? Mushishi. Maybe that's it. I think. I think. I think it's. Yeah, Book of Friends. That's on uh, Netflix. I think. I think that's on Netflix. That that one's really good. There's a lot of really cool designs in that anime. There's a game called World of Horror, which is like a Junji to homage, homage, where you can rent stuff. It's really good. Yeah, so check out the Book of Friends is, I think, yeah, level up. We're, we're making our way through Dracula's Castle pretty effortlessly. We're doing a pretty, kind of coasting through here, getting to some nice conversations with chat. We're just coasting along. I feel like we've done a really good job keeping our devils leveled up throughout the playthrough. I could see like people not understanding how it works because it kind of like takes a lot of experimenting and learning and like use trying to use like the same demon the entire game and then getting to the end and being like oh god I only have one good demon. Watch Princess Mononoke for the first time and that's got a bunch of demon stuff. Yeah that's true. A lot of those Ghibli movies have that Japanese folklore inspiration. 
going on. If you, um, you can also find like really cool old illustrations of that stuff. Like if you Google like the yokai names, you can find like the oldest illustrations that are so cool of yokai. Sometimes, I think there's yo yokai on uh, ukiyo-e. Which is like the wood, the wood, um, the Japanese traditional wood printing. I think there was, there's like a series. We think I went to a museum that had like yokai, yukioe. All right, we need to equip something else because this takes so long to kill. Yeah, the old wood carvings are awesome. I I went to an exhibit in in a and uh, where was that? I think it was in Osaka. Or was it Kyoto? I don't remember. But all that, yeah, all those old wood carvings. It's so cool. I'm so into that, that stuff. You should play Yokai Watch. If I did play Yokai Watch, I'd play them in Japanese. Because they'd be so easy that if they're made for kids. Um, so I, I would probably play them in Japanese. To, to study. This attack doesn't actually seem that good. It seems like this one is better. This flame breath. I thought flame breath. He like misses all the time. Oh, that's like, decent actually. If he's in the right positioning, it's good. Forgotten memory. Let's, let's equip baby Schmersh. Are those Yokai Watch good games any good? I just assume that they're like kind of elementary. They're like Pokemon, right? Let's re equip Samus for heals. Okay, let's do one more. And then re-equip Baby Shmersh. What level are we? We're level 49. Progressing here pretty smoothly, clearing these rooms easily. This I feel like this is like one last like huge area, like building you up for the boss fight. Like basically making sure that you're leveled up enough because all these rooms you have to clear the enemies before moving on. And a lot of the other areas in the game you could like skip enemies. So I feel like this is like the test if you're like ready and ready to face Dracula. Because, like, if you can't beat these rooms, it's, like, time to go grind, basically. Thank God we have Baby Shmursh. We picked the best. Somehow we ended up with amazing Baby Shmursh. It's like destiny. But yeah, I don't think we're actually going to be able to beat this today. I think we're going to have to kind of call it soon.
So yeah, my Twitter, I'll definitely update. And then hopefully, and then hopefully, I will be able to up finish this upload of this video tonight. I keep trying to export this video and it's not working. I'm gonna have to, I'll try it after stream. Yeah, get some downtime for sure. Yeah, definitely need some like recuperating time. I've been going so hard since like August. So taking a little break just to get the YouTube caught up and relax a little bit. It's gonna, it's gonna be good. I feel like I've been like working really hard. We're, I can feel that we're closer. Kind of, we're going to floors where there's only like one room. These hard enemies in it. And I'm not doing anything, just spamming this bone, bone swords. He is, he is my hero. I want to play as Baby Schmirsch in my next playthrough. Is that possible? I want to switch so Baby Schmirsch is like the character I play as, and Hector is like my, my, my innocent devil. That's what I really want. Oh god, we have to be careful. I think we're gonna also be able to like make new weapons and stuff, but new armor and weapons. I haven't checked recently. I'm sure we'll be able to soon. Okay. This way. Oh, this is full health checkpoint here. Alright, they're giving you full health, but no save. Really? I've been building an elf deck for Gwent, and I'm finally beating AI with it. Oh, man. Yeah, guys, go check out Schmouse. He's been playing Gwent like crazy, and he's getting better every stream. Go, go check him out and give him a follow. Oh, we're stunned. Okay. Down there. Also, don't follow now. I'm take also taking a couple days off. No. Still follow so you know when they're come when when you come back they'll be ready for you. Where's the save point? I think I haven't seen a save in forever. A save soon.
Right, okay, we're just taking out these rooms. All right, absolutely next. This has to be the last room here. Oh, we got Sloggers and Gaibon again, like uh, Symphony of the Night. Like the first, bo one of the first bosses in Symphony of the Night. It's a combination. I feel like Sh Baby Shmurf also never loses hearts for some reason. So I keep spamming the attack, but I, I keep my hearts. They're just BFFs. I think this is a teleporter. So yep, guys, we're gonna go back, save, and then probably call it here. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Castlevania Marathon. Today, we're gonna continue our playthrough of Castlevania Curse of Darkness. I am hoping that we can finish this one up today. Let's continue. We're pretty close to the end, I think. Probably only a few bosses left. Did you eat fried chicken on Christmas? Um, yes, I I didn't have fried chicken. I just had like a rotisserie chicken. But yeah, I did eat chicken. All the fried chicken places were so were so crowded. But there was a there was a chicken place in the local like shopping street. And shopping street in Japanese is Shotengai, which is all over Japan. Shotengai, and we we passed one, and this is the best rotisserie chicken I've ever had. It is so good, so juicy. I wish I took a picture of it. It was amazing. But yeah, it was it was it was good. It was some good chicken. I hope you had a nice holiday. How was your holiday, Mile High Rule? You have a good one, nice relaxing one. Mine was good. Got high AF as for most of it. That well, that sounds like a good time. Nothing wrong with that. That sounds like some fun. Glad you had a good one. So yeah, we're gonna try to beat this game today. I guess we're in Dracula's castle. I don't really remember getting here last time. Let's see if we can beat this. Sombra Curse. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Hello. Welcome in. Have to go back to work tomorrow, though. Oh, that sucks. I have off until January 12th, basically, which is my birthday. I have to go to work on my birthday, unfortunately. Just look at this ominous hallway. hallway. I think this is going to be a boss fight at the end here. Oh, there was a save point here the entire time. Alrighty, let's do it. This looks like the stairs up to Dracula, perhaps. We're really close to the end here. Yep. Yep, yep. Okay, this looks like this is gonna be a boss fight. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what we can do. Resurrected the castle, Hector. Boss fight. Bravo. Isaac. You wanted me to regain my powers. Now I see why. I fell right into your plot. After three years of peace, I'd lost my edge. And I've sharpened mine. I've been waiting quite a long time to plot my revenge. Not only did my lord die because of you, you stripped me of my pride, my home. Now I shall make you suffer as I suffered. You shall die a most painful, gruesome death! Alright, let's go. Alright, we're gonna switch out our summon here. Let's put in uh, Baby Shmursh. He's our best devil that we got. And, yeah, he's gonna have to do some... Uh 
Oh, okay. Seems like Heavenly Sword is really good against him. We just gotta... I think when he's glowing, he might be... I can't hit him. Like, let's put on a different um, summon here. Let's put on Derb. I wanted him to do Ignition Blow. So we both have the same... We both have the same Innocent Devil. Aw, oh, dude, I think we're gonna be fucked. I think we might be fucked here. Why is he immune to my attacks? What is going on? What do you do? Like, no matter what I do, like, his attack, my attacks weren't working. All right, let's try that again. Can we combine anything new? It says we can make a spear. Do Sangha. All right, let's try it again. See, now he does that, like, weird... Now he did that like weird thing and now my attacks like don't work. And I don't know why. Like up until that point, I'm doing a lot of damage. And now like, what do I do here? I can get some damage on him, but like, it's not a lot. Like maybe I need to just fight his, maybe I need to fight his dragon and not him. And then, Like, let's try this. It's like hard to lock on to his dragon. Kinda dodge him and try to attack. Oh, that's what you do. So you have to take out his devil. Okay, we got it. Take out his devil and then and then you can attack him. Okay, so we have to now take out this one. Camera. Dude. The hard thing is like selecting what target to, to attack it can be like a little clunky. Okay, so now that one's down. Let's get our hit. let's get our attacks in on him. Holy shit. We gotta use a high potion. This is this is dangerous. High potion. Okay. All right, we're gonna equip Samus really quick for heals. Samus is our healer. Get Samus up, up in here, and Samus can heal. And then we're gonna re-equip. Okay, he has the same. 
He has like the same devils that we have. So we're gonna re-equip um, Baby Shmursh here to take care of his... Where is he? Yeah, get him. Dude, I can't see. Even though I have a camera, I'm still getting the same problem where it's like the camera's fuck. Why is it keep? All right, it's I'm just fucking up. I think. We gotta use another potion. This is this is tough. This is real tough. Okay. Let's use Heavenly Sword on him. Re-equip, uh, re-summon Samus. Oh, Samus is out of hearts. We have to use potions. Alright, we gotta attack here. Potions here. We're out. We used all of our potions. We're so close. I'm so nervous. No. Oh. Oh. Get out of there. Oh my god. Get Derb back in here. We're just trying to use our devils because we don't have a lot of health. We could die like really easily. I think we can do this though by just doing this. Staying far away, using our devils. I think we got it. Okay, we did it. Oh god. That was hard. Die, I think! Die! Do not let the curse take hold of you. I'm certain that she would not wish you to pay such a price for your revenge. This murderous impulse. This thirst for bloody vengeance! This is not me! It is the curse! Dracula's curse! Oh, ho! Oh, and you would not fall prey to the curse. Praiseworthy indeed. I wonder why. Was your desire for vengeance weak? Or was your spirit strong? No matter. Either way, it is well finished. Your efforts have been a great boon to me. The moment you wavered was all I needed. Zed. 
So, you're the one behind all of this? You could say that. You used me to revive Lord Dracula! Even so, Devil Forge Masters alone are suffused in my master's magic. Thus, only a Devil Forge Master can be the vessel for his reawakening. I knew you would be the best material. <laughs> yes, much more so than Isaac. That is why I guided you here. So that you may fully regain your powers. Who are you? However, for Lord Dracula to be reborn in you, the curse had to take hold of you. When you rejected the curse, you proved to be useless. Truly, tis most unfortunate. That weapon! You are none other than death! Soon my master will enter Isaac's body. Though you were favored, Isaac will do. Dracula will once more walk the night, and as for you, it is time for you to die. Is this another boss fight? <laughs> what? What is this? Death? Oh, we're fucked. We're so screwed. What the fuck? <laughs> have no further use for me. Oh my god. We have to do that fight again? Oh, God. Are you kidding? How the hell am I supposed to do this? I used up so many potions. Seems like it's going to be a very difficult battle. Yeah, like, the first battle is tough, and then you go right into a second fight. So I need to not take that many hits on this first fight. Okay, we used all our potions, but we still have Samus heals. This is so fucking stupid. I hate this boss. This sucks. Let's get our heals here so we're ready for the next fight. We'll switch over to Baby David to finish off this this guy. Okay. And then we'll switch off to BB David. Alright. BB David can finish him off with this. Alright. Into the next fight again. Let's see what we can do. Now death. What do we do here? What am I doing? What are you doing? Don't go in the ground. I pressed the wrong button. try it again. I wish it wasn't such, such a far run back. Like, every time you have to go up these stairs. Let's put the save next to the room. Alright, let's try it again. just want to keep my distance and rely on my my devils mostly, but I do way more damage. Like, like I can't afford that. I can't afford getting hit and does like a hundred, more than a hundred damage in one fucking attack. So Baby Smursh is now all out of hearts. But we should be able to... I just need one more hit on him. No! Alright. Alright, now I equip Samus. Because we have full heals with Samus here. So, we, we just equip Samus. Try to dodge. What the fuck is that?
If I can like time it so I do that jumping attack, that's really good because I dodge his scythe. Like, all right, we got him down to half health. Like that. That is so good. I dodge his scythe by timing the um, jumping attack. What is that? What the f fuck is that? No further use for you. Oh. <laughs> what is that attack? I feel so defeated. These 3D Castlevania games are always like this. The end of the game is just like a huge difficulty spike. We'll just keep trying. We're just gonna keep trying this boss fight, but man, it's it's brutal. This is hard. This is really hard. All right. We only have Kallik James and he's worthless. Kallik is worthless. Okay, this is the attack, and I just don't know what to do. We're gonna use all of our potions here, and our high potion, and we're gonna just, like, like maybe we summon Baby Schmirsch and guard? Oh, we, we, we were fucked. Oh, okay, you do go to the perimeter, okay. Okay, we should be able to do this. All right, let's resummon Calic James, because Calic. No, we need the mod Calic. Calic James. I'm talking about Calic James. No, 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 no. Oh, he's doing the attack again. We're out of healing. We could sell that that Moa statue. Oh, oh! We did it! We did it! Oh, God! Oh, I think we can go save. All right, we have to go back and save. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. That was insane. Oh, finally, we did it. My heart is racing. I had full potions during that fight and we used all of them. I, that's the amount, max amount of potions you can carry other than super potions, which are like rare drops. Uh, what we can do is go back. I realize that we have something to sell. I think I can sell this Moa head. What will it be today? Will that do it? Anything else? Thanks, says And then we can buy. I didn't realize that that's just a sellable item. So we can buy three of these and five of these. So now we have full po four of these and now we have full potions again. We can also get the death doll now.
Okay, we should be fine now, I think. Okay, let's go back. I think we should be able to do this. I'll practice more this week for sure. Because I won't be streaming after this, after today. And I'll be coming back next Wednesday, January 5th, 6th, and 7th. We'll be, we'll be streaming again. And also the 10th and the 11th. We're going to do like five, five weekdays in a row. That should be the DS game. I'm, I'm guessing the DS game will be next week. Portrait of Ruin. All right. Let's watch this cutscene. Ooh, Dracula. Ah, the traitor Hector. Lord Dracula, you are reborn. Why did you betray me? Why I like this. I like this Dracula design. When you began slaughtering them indiscriminately, I had no choice but to disobey you. You side against me for the sake of humans. Humans are not worth the air they breathe. I was simply cleansing the world. It is not your place to judge the worth of humans. The powerful always judge the weak. The humans made their judgment of me as well. Thus, I sentenced them to extinction. Sympathy is merely a form of weakness. You betrayed me, Hector, and for that, the punishment is death. I stand ready. I will not flee as I did before. Okay. Go. Heavenly Sword, go. What was that? It takes away like half your your health there. What is that? Seems like Heavenly Sword is really good against uh, Dracula here. Get off! Don't know what I'm doing. It's absolutely going to be a second phase. How, is that undodgeable? What do you do? He says, I'll reduce you to ashes. And then... You can't, like, dodge it. Probably being in the air when he does that. I'm not sure. Heavenly Sword is my is my savior. Look at Heavenly Sword just kicking ass. I'm pretty sure I haven't attacked him once with my weapon off, but Okay, so you just have to do like a perfect timing dodge there. I finally dodged it. What's the second form going to be like, though, you know? There's always a second form.
second form. What the fuck is that? Holy shit! What? Wow, we just took so much damage to that. I love when my heals aren't good enough to really do anything. Dodging. I'm out of healing, so I'm out of heals, yeah. We have I thought we had that doll. Does that not do anything? We had an item, I thought it brought it bring us back to life. What? Do you need to equip it? Yeah, maybe I do need to equip it. It was a death oh you have to equip it. I didn't know you had to equip it. Okay, let's try this one more time. Do better in the first form, dodge those attacks more. That we should be able to do the second form with no problem. I think the problem was that I, it was my first try and I just didn't know how to dodge that Dracula, first, Dracula's like first, first form attack. Yeah, the first form doesn't look too bad. Just like, just dodging his attack is gonna be the most, uh, the most important. I think you struggled more versus Isaac. I think Isaac was probably more difficult. Isaac and the death combination seems to be more difficult than this Dracula fight. You playing on PS2? No, we're playing on emulator. All right, second form, let's go. If we die, we'll still have that accessory that brings us back to life. <sighs> Alright, we're back to life. But we, they don't, we don't have full health! We were so close. I was using the Warhammer, but we have the Dragon Killer too. 
Oh, it says great for taking out big monsters. Yeah, we can try it. This is a cool Dracula fight, to be honest. This is pretty cool. All right, they'll have the um, doll too. We still have the doll. The doll wasn't equipped. The doll was. Oh my! Oh. I had the doll equipped. I was so close. Maybe it wasn't equipped. I was like, oh, even if we die, we have that doll. Did I use it already? Maybe, and I didn't realize it. You we were so close. Well, we can do it this time, definitely. We can definitely do it this time. I just not doing enough damage. We're not doing enough damage, man. We're not doing enough damage with what we have here. That sword, like... Yeah, like, I think I need to use... the other weapon. Because, like, this attacks, we're just, like, barely doing any damage to him. Zero and seven are my favorites. Alright, let's try this again. So here, what we do is we spam this heavenly sword attack during this form because it seems to do a lot of damage in a really quick way to get his health down without being too risky. Uh, and when he says that those words, you want to like jump and dodge so you don't he doesn't attack you. So this is, when he does this attack, it's a really good opportunity to get a lot of damage in. Because he doesn't block or anything. And same with this attack as well, it's pretty easy to dodge and you can get a lot of damage in. somehow dodge that again. I just realized we didn't equip the sword this time. Where is he? There are so many Yakuza games, there's like, it's like nine, there's like ten Yakuza games I feel like. There's so many. It's a really good series though, it's really, it's really good. All right, we we, oh, we I think we we've, we've done this fight. Hit hitless. Don't want to say too soon, but I think pretty sure we yeah we just did a hitless hitless Dracula first form. It's the best we've ever done on that first form, definitely. We maybe used like more hearts than usual, but okay. Let's switch over to Derb. Our other devil summon. And we want to switch to. Oh shit, press the wrong button. This ignition blow.
Derb is already dead. I don't know. I, our heart situation isn't as good this time. But our healing situation is much better, but... Yeah. Resummon BB David. Oh god, this is so scary. This is such a hard fight. David's dead. Let's bring out Calic James. We don't really need heals yet. Yeah, I don't think we've used the doll yet, right? Yeah, we still have the doll, so we can come back to life once. We definitely did not get as much damage on him with our hearts. The sword, yeah, the sword, I don't know. That that dragon killer sword. I'm also just not playing as well either. Okay, we can summon Samus for heals. The doll is equipped. And then what we can equip is actually to sacrifice Brooch and summon Calic James. Because now all damage that I take, um, Calic, Calic will take. We're so close. We still have the doll too. We did it! We did it! Yes, let's go! Oh, God. Transformation. Was it not complete? So it would seem. Oh, the curse. My soul may return to the abyss, but the curse will not be lifted. It will fester in the hearts of humans until they obliterate themselves. Have you forgotten? I am a Devil Forge Master. I can turn your curse aside, transform it into something harmless, and so it shall be. Rest in peace. 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 
Dracula for the 20th time. Bye bye, Dracula. Now that I reflect upon it, Isaac's madness and Rosalie's death were both caused by the curse. This, then, is the final forge. Heed my words, O oh great powers of darkness! Release to me one of the tortured souls. Let me infuse him with my life force and awaken him to the world of the living! Immaculate These particle effects are like, pretty impressive for the PS2. No! This game looks pretty good for a PS2 game. Check that out. That looks like really good. Uh, it is too monstrous! Troy, man, I'll answer your question in a second. Tis done. The struggle has ended. I feel I can let go now and die in peace. You look ghastly. Julia. Julia? Why did you come here? I thought you might be contemplating something foolish like letting go. You see through it all, don't you? You've paid your debt, have you not? From this day on, you must live true to your own heart. You are wise indeed, Julia. I cannot fall knowing that you would fall with me. Now that you realize, we must go. Let us depart, quickly. Farewell, Isaac. Okay, is that the end? Oh, there's more. Let's keep watching this here, and then we're gonna move on to our next bonus, a bonus game. And the sunshine came, and everyone was friends again. The power of friendship. It is over at last. Even so, I pray this will truly free the people's hearts. Those hearts are yet filled with darkness. The curse has reached deep inside of them. Its mark will not easily vanish. For my brother, only death could erase it. Julia. All the same, people are not such fools. Their hope lies in one another. They shall realize that in time. Scars will fade and be lost to memory. Let us have faith in the moment. Indeed. Faith still in the morrow <laughs> so campy it's so words. so cringe but not for me as one who travels through time i see the morrow a bit differently all the same the flow of time has stabilized at last for myself i think i will go far into the future and see what awaits there is one great battle yet to be fought the final battle between Lord Dracula and the humans. Perhaps they will remember your fight, or perhaps it will start anew. The, the designs in the anime are so much better than this game what now, Hector? Where for these go? characters. Well, All of them look way better I in the anime. Friends I must conceal from the humans. I suppose I'll seek some hidden place where I can live in peace. No need to search out such a place. I know of one. Pray, lead me there. I am in your debt. So he's going to travel to 1999, yet yeah, who need. knows? You shall find here. If that is fine with you. 
I don't know. There could still be good designs. Not talking about like graphics. I'm just saying like the character oh, designs. To stay here with you, Julia. The character designs are just like not that good. Not a bad idea. Nothing to do with like the graphical style. More about the actual like art design. Okay. So that is a GG on Castlevania Curse of Darkness, the 20th game in the marathon. Let's update our stream here. We have beaten 20 out of 26 Castlevania games. And like the credits look like they're broken or something. What is that like thing at the bottom there? My emulator breaking? This was a really fun game. I'd recommend check this game out if you never played it before. It's, it's definitely better than Lament of Innocence. There's a lot of cool things going on in this game between the leveling up the the devil the innocent devil system worth leveling up those devils and like there's still so much more you could do like checking out all the different paths of devils and then plus the crafting system which is amazing where you can get all these different weapons and armor type it's really good really good so yeah I, i'd recommend to check this game out if you've never played it before definitely feels underrated in the castlevania in the, the series here. This game definitely feels underrated. I never even heard of it before doing this marathon and it definitely, I came away really, really impressed. So yeah, this game was good. Definitely, definitely a highlight in the marathon. My favorite sound, now to answer Froyman your question, if you're still here, out of all the games I've completed, which one is your top one? That's so hard. But I can give you like a top four or five, which would be like Castlevania 1, Super Castlevania 4, Rondo of Blood, Area of Sorrow, Castlevania 64, Castlevania 64 Legacy of Darkness, something like that. Would be like my top five. I'll see if it works on my PC to play this. I think all 3D Castlevanias are underrated. Yeah, I think this game deserves way more credit. I think it's doing a lot of cool stuff, like kind of ahead, like ahead of its time. And yeah, the, the, the end was, was great. I mean, those last boss fights were really fun. They're difficult and fun. Oof, that is actually a great top five you have. Well, thank you. Some other games that I think that are underrated in the in the franchise so far has been um, Castlevania 2 Belmont's Revenge for the Game Boy. It's a really good improvement on Castlevania Adventure. Dawn of Sorrow was really good too, but I think I like Aria Sorrow a little bit more than that Dawn of Sorrow. I respect Symphony of the Night for being really revolutionary, but it's not the most balanced game, but I do appreciate it for being the first of the genre, first of its type. Okay, that's a GG on Curse of Darkness. Crazy mode unlocked. Enter at crazy to play crazy mode. Well, ooh, Trevor unlocked. You can play as Trevor. Should we check out that Trevor mode? I'm, I'm not really sure about crazy mode because last time crazy mode, I think maybe it's just like a harder difficulty or something. Not sure what crazy mode does, but I'm kind of curious at the um, Trevor mode. Let's just see what this is really quick. Oh, you can like choose between like his different abilities. Uh, stop time. Holy water, axe, knife. All the standard sub weapons. Okay, let's just try it out. And I'm guessing there's no. Yeah, there's no doubt. There's no. Um, Devil system. Dude, he's sick. I bet there, yeah, there's no level ups or anything. Yep, it's just this. I think, I don't think he levels up. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any levels. So it's just like this one, this kind of, this one mode here. You do get to upgrade the whip too. Oh, you get to upgrade the whip? Okay, so you can get like maybe new new whip or something or like upgrade it. Okay, so this seems cool. Maybe we'll come back and play this one day. I think next year we'll do like a bonus. We'll do like a, the next Castlevania Marathon where we do all like the side quests and all like the different alternate ways of beating the games. It's kind of something I'm interested in. All right, so let's reset here.